Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, today we're gonna answer another frequently asked question. I love this video series. Hopefully you guys do as well. Today we're gonna be talking about footwear and in fact, I'm gonna do it a little bit more encompassing and we're gonna talk about clothing in general for lawn care landscaping. I'm gonna need your guys' help on this one, so make sure you stay uh, tuned the whole way through and then leave me a comment down below by the end of it. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? My name is Brian here at Brian's Law Maintenance and I'm doing this whole video series talking about frequently asked questions that you guys uh, ask me all the time and this topic is footwear. Footwear, footwear, footwear. Now, the low hanging fruit, and I know you guys are already thinking this, is for me to plug Cujo, Cujo, Cujo. As you guys know, I'm an affiliate for Cujo uh, with the Brian's 10 and you can get your Cujo shoes and they're lawn care shoes that are like waterproof and they're really good, right? Uh, I will say no. The honest answer is no. The Cujos are not an all-encompassing shoe uh, for lawn care landscaping, and here's why. What I got started in lawn care landscaping business, the only thing I used uh, initially was running shoes. I love running shoes, like Asics, Brooks, uh, Nikes, Adidas, whatever, right? And usually they were like my old running shoes, and that's what I would use because uh, they had some decent arch support, and they were super comfortable and flexible because we'd be walking four, five, six miles a day, right, if not more, uh, cutting grass. But here's the deal, unfortunately with running shoes is that they're designed to breathe. Well, that's a good thing, except for the fact that you know, water and moisture can get into those, uh, especially with the dew in the morning. So I used to uh, wear running shoes for the longest time. And then as my business grows uh, and grew, and as I took things more serious, I said, you know what, safety first, let's start wearing work boots. And I love work boots. And in fact, I'm a huge Red Wings boots kind of guy. Uh, I think Red Wings boots are really, really good. I've got no skin in the game. There's no endorsement here. I'm not paid to say that. I just personally, I love Red Wings boots. I would, would have no problem partnering with those guys and having them on the channel because they make such a good boot. In fact, I use the uh, the 435. The 435 boot. All right, there you go. The 435 boot, it was a really good boot for me. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a resolable boot, so uh, it was basically a throwaway pair every year. It's about 179 to 200 bucks, whatever it is. So where does the Cujo Yardwear shoes come into play? Well. I went from the Red Wings boot, and in fact, it was last year, about the same time, that I connected with the Cujo people, uh, about uh, March, April time frame. And we had tested those shoes for about six, almost eight weeks before we ever did a video on them, before we ever created an affiliate code, before we ever talked to you guys about them, because I legit wanted to put them through the ringer. And in fact, I've got one of my uh, employees that was with me at the time, and I was literally ranting to him, and I said, dude, you know what would be a genius uh, business idea? Uh, quality footwear that's like a shoe that's waterproof and literally I swear to God you couldn't make this up this the planets aligned and I got an email from Cujo saying hey we got a product that we might want to partner up with you guys on and uh, you know demo and try it out and maybe expose to your audience what do you think and I said are you freaking kidding me how cool is this for some of you guys that are new and maybe haven't checked out the Cujo's just yet I do endorse them a hundred percent because we used them all last summer all last fall and they were a game changer they're an athletic shoe with a waterproof cap toe. Uh, they don't get wet with the morning dew, and you can walk on them comfortably for miles a day, and your feet aren't you know just destroyed. The other side of the fact is that they're not this crazy uh, boot, that moon boot I call them, that you have to wear all day like a Red Wings boot. So where does it come into play with Cujo's or Red Wings? Well, here's my attitude. If you're doing lawn care, you want to invest in some good quality Cujo's. But if you're doing landscaping and you're using shovels, uh, flathead shovels, uh, you know, pointed shovels, you're uh, using heavy equipment or machinery or wheelbarrows, things that could you know step on your toe, right? Things that you want to have safety first, then go with the boot option. I still wear boots. We still have our Red Wings. I love them. Uh, some of you guys might wear Keen boots. I know Stanley Dirt Monkey loves Keen. Uh, I haven't personally used those, so I can't endorse them. Uh, but that's what I'm trying to say is that, do I think Cujo's are the end all be all no no way no way at all because we still wear boots uh, probably 10 15 20 percent of our season while we're doing landscaping work so that's what I want to tell you guys wear good quality boots if you're doing landscaping but if you're doing lawn care my personal opinion is yes the Cujo's that's where those went out a uh, little birdie that I know is out there is that I believe Cujo is trying to come out with a boot with a uh, composite toe or a steel toe so that might come out but I think it's not gonna come out till later summer Outside of the, the footwear conversation was, what I wanted to ask you guys next was pants. Pants, pants, pants. Dude, 
And if you want to talk about the most frustrating thing in lawn care, it's burning up, it's getting hot. And I generally speaking wear pants the whole summer through. I mean, literally July, August, it's uh, you know 90 degrees, 100% humidity. I'm just baking and sweating and dripping. I mean, I can, I can lose four or five pounds a day in water weight, uh, which is pretty crazy. I wanna know what you guys use for the best pairs of pants. Now, here's the deal. If you wanna leave a link in the description or uh, the, the name of whatever you guys wear for boots or pants, I'm totally cool with that. Um, the algorithm, generally speaking, blocks links, but I'm gonna to try to approve those so you guys can all uh, work together with me and have this discussion going. So we can all work together uh, seeing what kind of products make the most sense out there that you guys use. So I'm gonna leave those links down in the description uh, or on your comments, and I'm gonna to try to not have them be blocked by the YouTube algorithm because I really want to have a good resource out there uh, for fall and winter I was using the uh, Duluth what is it like the fire uh, fire hose pants or fireman pant I don't, I don't even know they were a little expensive they're like 80 to 100, 100 bucks um, but they lasted really well and they're really insulated and really thick however going into spring and summer I want something that's light something that's airy uh, something that protects my shins because I don't want to wear shorts uh, but something that's also not going to make me like suffocate and just burn up so if you guys got some suggestions I am all ears like I said these FAQs I can help you guys out with a lot of info but I really appreciate it because you guys can help me out as well well, so leave uh, some comments down below with the name or the type of pant that you guys wear. Uh, I would really appreciate that because I don't see any videos out there about folks in lawn care landscaping talking about clothing outside of like the boots, the Cujos and all that mess. And yes, Brian's 10 works forever, okay? Uh, so go get your Cujos, right? And sincerely, I appreciate the support. But outside of that, for, for boots, I'd love to know what you guys are wearing. And then definitely for pants and clothing. Uh, I wear t-shirts all, all summer and you know, that's no big deal. But the pant part, uh, I'm always interested in knowing uh, kind of like what you guys are doing. So that's it.